Hi everyone. Today is day two of me following the challenge that my son gave me for following my intuition and doing some short videos. It's something I've wanted to do for quite a long time and I've only done a couple over the last couple of years. I um, decided today that we would talk a little bit about my group distance Reiki and how to read the the posts that I put up and how to use them to your benefit. So I do a group distance Reiki and I have a whole bunch of names that are in my singing bowl at my office and I write each of those names on a piece of paper when I'm ready to do the group Reiki. It's something I do on occasion. Um, sometimes it'll be twice in a week, sometimes it won't be for a month and it's something that I then text out to my group. Um, Reiki is a energy healing, it's a spiritual energetic energy healing service that I provide and distance Reiki is something that I do from where I am to wherever you are in the world and I send it out to all those who are open and ready to receive so if you align with one of my posts that I put up on Instagram or share um, otherwise you are welcome to follow along and if you would like your name in my singing bowl you can comment below the video and I can add your name to my singing bowl if you give me your cell phone number i can also then text it to you as i do it i do also post on telegram on my page so but there are a few page, places that you can see the group the listing so on it you will see at the top normally a focus the date and also the time that i am doing the session so um today's happened to be at 222 which happens to be an angel number for being ready for self-love and manifesting and it's a very um, great number to have popped up but it's when we started the Reiki session today. I don't tell you ahead of time when I'm doing it. What I do is I just do the Reiki when I feel inclined to and then you get a message and I post it out. Um, today's focus was connection to self and others and to listening to our intuition and divine messages. So that was our focus today. I almost always have an essential oil since I love doing oils. Today's was balance grounding blend and it was specifically um, came up when I did muscle testing as to aid us with the individual realizing our true dreams and desires. We had a crystal come up. So there's our crystal. I didn't show you the balance. There's the balance blend. Um, the crystal was selenite and it was it's to promote connection and camaraderie and enhance our power of manifestation then I had I tested that today we needed a specific healing Hertz and I will go into healing Hertz in a different video at some point but uh, today's was 384 Hertz and I used a YouTube video and my link to that YouTube video will be included in the message I send out to everyone in my text and also on Instagram and telegram but the music was balancing throat chakra and releasing your inner creativity. I also had a tuning fork come up um, for today that I used during the Reiki and it came up for our third eye and our throat. So I actually did use the tuning fork on myself as a proxy to all of you that are a part of the group Reiki or if you were someone that was open and ready to receive, I did that during the Reiki to send that positive energy out and what I do is I do a small prayer when I start. So at 222 today, I started and I did a small prayer. I applied the oils to my wrist and I did some grounding techniques and some meditation prior to doing the Reiki starting at 222. And then I performed the Reiki on myself today as a proxy. I laid the selenite on my lap today. And then as I go through, I balance the chakras and I do anything that came up through the muscle testing that I did for the session or intuitively decide to do for the se session. I also reaffirm affirmations. I love affirmations. They are a great way to reprogram your subconscious mind to believe what you actually want to manifest into your life. So even if you don't believe it right now, if the sentence aligns with what you would like, I highly suggest reading and writing any of the affirmations that come up. So today's affirmations were, I calmly think of solutions to any problems that come my way. I forgive easily. My thoughts help me to stay centered and focused on what's most important. And I am the source of my truth and my love. So what I do is I text it out with the, an image and I also post it with an image of all of these things and then 
I just want you guys to be able to understand how you can use it. So if you happen to have the essential oil and you want to then reaffirm the any affirmations, you're welcome to listen to the music that came up that day. Sit down, take a few deep inhales with the essential oil. You can hold a crystal if you happen to have the crystal that came up or you can use a different oil or crystal if that's what you happen to have. You're also able to do this without the crystals and without listening to the music. You can also just read and write any affirmations that align with you. So I hope that this helps with how I do my group distance Reiki and I'm excited to be able to be at day two of actually getting over my fears of recording myself. So I hope this is helpful to someone. Again, if you want to join, comment below and I can add your name to the singing bowl. You can also message me privately if you want to give me your phone number to be able to get the texts or if you want to learn how to have your own personal Reiki session through distance energy healing or in my office in Pennsylvania. I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.